When I look at Ted Williams, I mean, you think 406. I mean, absolutely amazing in that double header, he went six for eight. And when you look back at some of the conversations he had with Tony Gwynn, and he loved to talk hitting. Ted Williams loved to talk hitting, which was, which was awesome for our generation you know, before he had passed. And I wanted to look back at Ted Williams and look back at his mechanics and see, man, what did this guy do that relates to, to, to hitters today? This guy was beyond his years. He knew what he was doing. They didn't have the video back then. They didn't have all the stuff, the tools they have now. This guy was a student of the game. And that book, The Signs of Hitting, was so good. Now, let him, the first thing he did was watch how he loads his hips. Watch this little kickback. Look at that little kickback with the front knee. He loads his backside on this kick. Watch. Here he goes. Boom. There's that load to that back hip. That's where he gets his power to drive off it. And when you watch him, this next angle right here, you can really see it. On the second part here, watch his back foot. He's going to drive. This, his foot's going to come off the ground for a split second. Boom. Right there. You can see right there. Now, we'll look at the stiff front side. That front leg acts as a brake. When that goes down, Ted Williams gets all his weight off his backside into, right into the, into the ball right here and into the barrel. That's why he hit for so much power, over 500 home runs. But here's the key, the separation here. Look at the drive from his bottom half where he gets that belt buckle turned all the way, but he keeps his hands back with it's called a bat lag. His bat lags back, and all the energy he created from that lower half is now in his barrel. And that's where he gets it. Look at this right here. Boom. And there's the, there's the eye-hand coordination. That's why he was an unbelievable fighter pilot. All those things. He had that eye-hand coordination. But he had such a great setup that when he stepped, all that energy had that little coil, a little turn back like this. And when he came forward, he put the energy in his back hip. And he, he, nothing was left on his backside when he came here. And then he had the separation. He didn't bring his hands with him like this. He got that belt buckle turned here. And then the bat was back here. And then he used that coordination and boom. And that's why we, we, we say it all the time. Maybe the greatest hitter ever played the game, 401. But he had the mechanics. And he knew what he was doing in that box. It was pretty special.